Here are our tips to celebrate Pride Month while still in the closet. Welcome everyone to Powered and Protected by Rainbows. I am of course your host, Matt Haslam. Before we jump into our episode, first off, don't forget to like this video, comment down below your LGBTQ friendly thoughts and hit that rainbow subscribe button so you don't miss out on new episodes of season three. Anyway, on to our show. A few weeks ago, we aired an episode called Nine Tips to Celebrate Pride Month from Home. And an overwhelming number of you requested that we show you tips on how to celebrate Pride Month while still closeted to your friends and family. You asked and now you shall receive. As I say on this show all the time, this network will always be partly yours. So if you want to see a topic covered, send us those ideas in the comment section of any of our episode. But in those comments, several of our other viewers had some great ideas for those who are still closeted as well. With all of these ideas, it's imperative to note that you'll have to do some hiding. So with each of these following suggestions, we're going to be giving you some tips on how to hide what you do from your family. And we highly suggest that you think more about how to hide your celebration than the celebration itself. The last thing we want is for your family to find out before you're ready to come out to them. The first of our viewer suggestions comes from both Just Ozzy and Sparkly Diamond, who suggest to throw a pride celebration in your video games. For instance, Sparkly Diamond plays Minecraft, and in that game you can build your Minecraft home in rainbow colors. Or if you don't play much video games, you could hold a tiny pride parade in your bedroom using Hot Wheels toys or Legos. Just make sure that anyone who you don't want to know your secret isn't home, or that you set up those pride parades with your bedroom door closed. The next idea comes from our viewer Panic at the Shasha, who suggests eating rainbow Skittles and rainbow nerds all month long. Now, this could actually be extended to any candy in rainbow colors, such as M&Ms, or anything else for that matter. But if you think about it, this one actually is way more fun than you might first assume. Because let's say your parents are homophobic or transphobic or unaccepting of the LGBTQ, and you're afraid to tell them that you belong to the community. If they aren't accepting, they probably won't buy you a rainbow flag anytime soon. But if you ask them for Skittles or a bag of M&Ms, it just looks to them like you want some candy, but to you, it can mean a whole lot more. Plus, Skittles is dedicating this entire month to LGBTQ pride, so you'll be supporting an LGBTQ friendly company as well. Our next suggestion comes from Charlotte Holton and Avocadox, who suggests to leave small items around your room which show off the colors of your pride flag or the LGBTQ rainbow flag. With things such as markers, having six markers in the certain order of a rainbow sitting on your desk isn't going to send any red flags to your family, but you secretly know that it's your way to show off your pride. Charlotte even suggests taking different colored smaller items and leave them in different places all around your room. Because those items are separated at all times, your family won't figure out that you're showing off your pride in your room. But again, you'll be able to look around your room and know exactly what all of those items mean together. The next suggestion comes from Kyle Hawkins, who told us about the idea to paint drawings on your computer to show off your pride. If your family and friends don't use the same computer that you do, you can draw different pride paintings in your computer programs or online and just hide them in a hidden folder on your computer's hard drive. But our viewers Ink Sands, Bon Kiki, and Snowfox2074, sorry if I'm getting her names wrong, also suggest just drawing pride pictures on paper as long as your family doesn't really look at what you draw. You can even hide your sketchbook very well, and you'd be safe drawing whatever you want. I used to write the names of my male celebrity or classmate crushes in my notebooks for school and circle their names with tiny little hearts. I know, I'm very gay. But my point is that because I hid those doodles in between hundreds of notes for our class, no one thought to check my notebooks. Another of our viewers, Wolfie Flame, even suggests making something with cardboard or colored paper to resemble your flag, but not exactly perfect to the flag. That way no one else knows what that color combination represents. A viewer named Katie Padilla suggests even using a rainbow or pride picture and setting it to be your desktop background on your computer or your phone. 
But keep in mind, this one is way riskier if your family goes near your computer or phone when you're not around. Next up is a suggestion from Maria Busso, who mentioned to us the idea of celebrating Pride Month by wearing bright colors, outfits, and clothing all month. If you wear one color each day and don't wear the red, orange, yellow, blue, green, and purple in that exact order, your family would be none the wiser. And if you wanted to hide it even more, don't wear those colors on your t-shirts or pants. Just wear those colors on your socks or your undergarments, which your family members won't take too much notice of. Keeping with the idea of dressing the part, our viewer Tiny Carrot Gotcha told us about the idea to make your outfit match your pride flag in subtle ways. For instance, the bisexual pride flag could allow you to wear blue shorts or jeans and a pink or red shirt. To your family and friends, you're just wearing something randomly picked out of your closet. But to you, you're showing off all the pride that you're still hiding in the closet. I quite like that joke. Potato Wolfie Potato also suggests that you can even make jewelry or bracelets to match your pride flag and then only wear them while you're not around your family and friends. Just make sure that whenever your parents come home, you take that bracelet off and hide it well enough so they won't find it. Speaking of the idea of your family not being home sometimes, if you have Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, or Hulu, Joe Quinn Lumelli suggests watching LGBTQ shows on those networks. All of these platforms have LGBTQ sections, but if you're afraid of your family finding your watch history on these platforms, which there is not really an easy way for you to delete your history on these platforms, keep in mind, just watch shows which are mainly comedy or drama shows. There are plenty of shows which the subject of the show is not about being LGBTQ. For instance, The Office, Schitt's Creek, and BoJack Horseman all have gay or pansexual characters, but it's not the headline of the show, whereas shows like Love, Victor, which is a spinoff of Love, Simon, or Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, the main topic of the show is LGBTQ-related. Our next viewer called Rayadoodle, which, by the way, great name for a YouTube channel, suggests that if you can't show your pride in any outside way, then just throw a pride parade in your mind or when you're falling asleep. You can look up videos on YouTube, even on our channel here at PBR, to show you what a pride parade looks like and imagine being there in person yourself. Just make sure you clear your browsing history so your family doesn't see that you watched pride parade videos all night long. The next suggestion comes from a viewer named UWUZ, who tells us that if your parents are homophobic and you already came out to some of your friends who might be LGBTQ themselves or allies of yours, just text them rainbow emojis and pride flags. When you send them pride flag emojis, just make sure you're texting the right person and not your parents. It's a celebration. So if some people in your life already know, celebrate with them and ask them not to share your text messages with anyone else. Next up, Danny Robinson suggests that you can start listening to a podcast called History is Gay, which is an educational podcast teaching about LGBTQ history. Or you can watch our series on LGBTQ history using the playlist we have linked below. All of these things will help you educate yourself on the community's history and learn from other activists in our community. Just make sure again that you're clearing your browsing history. Finally, we suggest to keep watching Powered by Rainbows because all month long we're covering so many topics and celebrating Pride Month. We realize Pride events were canceled in person this year, so we've taken it on ourselves to throw a Pride Parade online here on our channel. And we understand that some of our viewers are still in the closet to their family and friends. So if you need to hide the fact that you're watching an LGBTQ educational channel, it's okay if you don't subscribe to us right away, which might give it away to your family and friends who see your YouTube channel. But just know that our channel is here as a safe place for LGBTQ members, including you. So if you need any advice, ask questions in the comments. If you need support, share your story in the comments. And if you just want to celebrate with like-minded and kind people, come back to our channel as often as you want. We're not just here during Pride Month. Keep in mind, our show runs all year round. So almost every week, you'll be able to come back here and learn more and be empowered 
to be exactly who you were always meant to be. And just in case you need advice on how to come out, I'm also going to leave a link to our playlist on coming out advice in the description of this video, so you can get that resource as well. As for now, that's all for our episode today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this episode and want to support more content like this in the future, please consider pledging to our Patreon page, where you can get a ton of benefits. Just go to patreon.com forward slash mhptv or click the link in the description. Don't forget to like this video, share your LGBTQ friendly thoughts in the comments, hit that rainbow subscribe button so you don't miss out on new episodes of our show, and share this video with others. I'm your host, Matt Haslam. This has been PBR. Have a gay day, everyone, and bye for now. Watch Powered by Rainbows Season 3, only on MHP TV.